Hi, I'm Frida Latham, and I'm going to be painting a honey hummingbird this time. Um, I'm using pure ice. Uh, it's called Excuse Me. And this is Revlon's Enchanting. And this is China Glaze's Zombie Zest. And this is Sally Hansen's Air and Sinful Colors. Glass Pink. What I was doing was creating a design for a client, a hummingbird, and I thought, well, we'll just video this because sometimes it's hard when you're by yourself to be able to have these to hold down while you're creating a design. So I thought I would demonstrate. I glue with a tiny amount one corner and then the opposite corner of each nail, and then it just pops off when the design is done. It holds it still for you. So, I had already started some, and I stopped in the middle of this and decided to do this video. So, I wet it with the pink ice. And then, at the top, here's some of my, the yellow for the sun, the glow, and the design. And warm it up. I go to both. I already had these two ready to show how to go across all the rest of the nails. In the bottom, some of the green. And you're just barely, this is like a feather sort of touch, blending this. This purple, it's pretty dry. Off of the brush is really It's barely blend the video. Then, over all of it, I had created like a foggy sort of look on the others. You can see it here. That's done with this air that it's called. And you push. A little bit more. Roll it together. And I'm going to set in my hummingbird with some turquoise or aqua. There are a lot of names for this color. This head. And with his stomach, and some more. And mix up with some of the aqua, the color for the wings, like the underside, creating a feather touch. Of the wings. And bring down the tail feathers. And take a little black under paint, under his wing. Under his neck, I have plain red. That will go under the neck. And then hot red. Right in the center that to create a highlight. 
and I'm going back into the turquoise a black green shape. Yeah, shape. And do definition. Of the ring in the head. I'm going to a little color. Right under that one. I'm going to do the shadow. Give him a little bit more in the belly there. And definition. With your black. And under his wings. Maybe a little white, a little shine on top of his, top of his head. Make him show up a little bit. And then let me touch. To also tone that down a bit. The flowers are basically. And to see where I should push. Go back. In the dark purple, what I was using was dark purple. Go back into that with white. The center. And then pure white. And there you can see. And now you're pressing. This is like leaves in the distance from some other flower that may be there. Go back into purple and black maybe for the center. Doing a little center in the flower. No, I don't like there we go. Going back and doing highlights. I deliberately did that waiting for the wings to dry. So that when I went in with highlight on the wing, it wouldn't pick up the color that was already there. And it would leave it when I put that in. Get on the tail. I'm just about finished. Turn yellow inside the flower. If you want your flower, find out how to do little yellow leaves or what you like. And there you are. Thank you for watching. I hope that these give you inspiration to try for yourself and enjoy. I hope you enjoy painting. Thank you.